Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Shifts and Pucks News Pack for Thursday, or sorry, yes, Thursday, April the 28th. It is Thursday. It is the second last, third, technically, actually, the third last day of the regular season. There are, uh, it's going to be one extra game on Saturday as a makeup game between the Seattle Kraken and the Winnipeg Jets will happen, but uh, we're winding down the NHL regular season here, so uh both the flames and the Canucks are in action tonight of course Devin Sean and I talked about the flames yesterday uh that wild classic regular season game against the National Predators so checked out that podcast as we discussed how good that game was we discussed Matthew Kachuk we we discussed Chris Tanev as a Masterton trophy and I gave my nominees for the award winners of the Hart Norris Calder Jack Adams and Vesna uh, trophy there so check that out and uh, retweet those things and uh, share those things as well so yes the Calgary Flames are in action tonight against the Minnesota Wild uh, it although the there is a significance to this game of course just first of all in terms of standings the claims come in with a record of 50 20 and 10 uh, they've won three in a row. They're 100 at 110 points. So they, although they have clinched first place, uh, Minnesota 51, 22, and seven at 109 points. Of course, Minnesota is battling for St. Louis for second spot. But should those two teams meet in the Western Conference Final, it, it is a possibility. Uh, the team with the most points has home ice advantage. So the Flames will want to would if they a win tonight or it clinches that for them. And should they meet? So, uh, Wild, of course, are also in a battle with the St. Louis Blues to play uh, for second place as they are uh, playing. They are locked and loaded to play in that, the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs that start next Tuesday. And uh, they're battling there uh, in that situation as well. And so uh, it'll be Jacob Markstrom against Cam Talbot, Daryl Sutter with a win tonight. Is the other significant thing. Yeah, he move he has 699 wins. He uh, has a chance to move into a tie with Mike Babcock for 10th all time. So that is uh that's a significant milestone there. Jacob Markstrom will get the call and goal today. We also discussed who plays today, who plays tomorrow against the Winnipeg Jets as the Flames going back to back. Cam Talbot, former flame starting for the Minnesota Wild. So that is uh, the Flames and the Stars. Just to touch on uh, some other Flames news, uh, Devin Wolf was named t- uh, today, uh, got, got an honor. Devin Wolf and Jacob Pelcher were named to the AHL All Rookie team uh, this year, uh, as was uh, last yesterday. So, congratulations to them. As uh, and then uh, Dustin Wolf was named a first team All Star. Dustin Wolf have an outstanding year with the Stockton Heat, uh, and uh, he so he has been named a first team All Star. Uh, the twenty one year old, uh, of course, uh, is the first ever member of the Heat to be named to an end of year first or second year All Star team. Uh, there as well so congratulations to him uh 38 3 and 1 uh is his record 2.33 goals against average 924 save percentage in his rookie year so congratulations to dustin wolf for that uh there as well the vancouver canucks are in action tonight against at home their final home game of the year against the los angeles kings that game does not have any impact on the standings the kings are locked in to face the edmonton oilers in the first round the Canucks were officially eliminated from the playoffs, of course, on Tuesday when the Dallas Stars beat uh, the Arizona, won the game on Tuesday versus the Vegas Golden Knights at a shootout. Of course, we'll touch on that situation here in a moment, but uh, that is what's going on there. Lines for the Canucks tonight. Uh, Kyle Burroughs took the morning skate, but JT Miller will play tonight. It'll be Miller, Garland, Chason, Pedersen, Pod, Coles, and Besser. Richardson, Dickinson, and Highmore. Lamico, Dries, and Patan. OBL and Myers, Hughes and Shan, Hunt and Dermott, and Spencer Martin should get the call tonight for uh, the Vancouver Canucks. And expected that they're going to wear their 
uh, their flying skate jerseys to end the year. As far as the Kings go, of course, getting themselves ready for the uh, playoffs here. And, uh, of course, they came off uh, yesterday's 5-3 win over the uh, Seattle Kraken yesterday. And looks like uh, uh, Kyle Peterson will get the start. Uh, Jonathan Quick has started seven straight. Kyle Peterson will get the start tonight. Uh, it looks like uh, Kopitar Brown, IFL and Kempe were held at a practice yesterday, as well as Edler and Olimata, as well as Stretcher and Strad. So it will be probably a line uh, line juggling. Mikey Anderson uh, is confirmed that he would play back-to-back, so expect Mikey Anderson to play tonight uh, as well. Uh, he hasn't played since he effort at suffered an upper body injury against the Bruins on March the 7th. So the Kings getting ready for the playoffs, the Canucks getting ready for the off season. So those are the two big games, Flames and Canucks that we're watching there. Now, in terms of other scenarios, uh, the Florida Panthers will clinch the President's Trophy. Uh, still waiting to do that. If they beat the Ottawa Senators tonight or the Nashville, uh, the Predators beat the Colorado Avalanche, or they get one point and Nashville defeats Colorado in regulation. Tampa Bay will officially clinch third in the Atlantic Division and a first-round matchup against the Leafs uh, if the Lightning defeat the Blue Jackets in any fashion, or the Tampa Bay gets one point versus Columbus and the Bruins lose to the Sabres. So that's still so the only match. There's no matchup set still in the the. Eastern Conference, the only two official matchups that we know of is LA bought LA and Edmonton and Minnesota St. Louis. But the question is, is home ice. Now, of course, in the Western Conference, Vegas was eliminated. They lost 4-3 to a sh- in a shootout. Uh, so they were eliminated. Dallas is currently in the first wild card spot. They had a 3-0 lead against the Arizona Coyotes heading into the third period and lost in overtime 4-3. So they're sitting at 96 points. They are not playing tonight. Uh, the Nashville Predators, of course, are playing the Colorado Avalanche. The big news out of Nashville is, of course, the injury of UC Soros. Head coach John Heist today says that they will split David Riddich, Connor Ingram for the final two games. Doesn't sound like Soros will be ready for the first round of the playoffs. So that is what is, that could be a very curious situation and a very interesting situation there. So Dallas, of course, Plus played 81 games. Nashville has played 80, so they have two games to go. They'll play Colorado tonight, and then tomorrow they will face they have one more game, and that is against Arizona uh, on tomorrow. So that's what their final schedule will look like there. In terms of the other games that are going on tonight in the National Hockey League, uh, we've got Columbus taking on Pittsburgh. That's a battle for the final wild card spot. The Rangers will have clinched second place in the Metropolitan Division. So the question is, do they play Pittsburgh or do they play Washington? They both of those teams have lost two in a row. The Penguins are one point ahead and they're playing their final regular season game. Washington has two games to go. We've got Chicago playing Buffalo. Uh, of course, Boston is playing Toronto. Boston trying to see maybe if they play if they give another matchup here to uh to tampa they've got two games to go so there so is that still do we see a boston uh toronto first round matchup florida of course play montreal the opportunity to clinch the president's trophy montreal is the first team to finish 32nd in the national hockey league detroit new jersey washington taking on the rangers tonight Setting the table, though, those that's going to be an interesting game that sets the table. Uh, of course, we got Tom Wilson, Ryan Reeves, we got everything that happened in that one. And could that be a playoff series? We'll have to see. Uh, Vegas taking on St. Louis. Uh, oh, that's tomorrow. I'm sorry, I got the let me make sure I got this. My, my apologies there. So, tonight, uh, let's go through this Washington, the Islanders. I'm sorry, Boston, Toronto's tomorrow. 
Uh, so I screwed all that up. But let me just do that again here. We've got Washington and the Islanders tonight there, and then the Rangers tomorrow. So Washington, final regular season game against the New York Rangers. We'll dig into that tomorrow. Buffalo, Boston, Florida, of course, against Ottawa. Uh, Jersey, Carolina. Tampa Bay, of course, taking on Columbus. Uh, San Jose taking on the Oilers as the Oilers are getting ready to host. And then the Kings taking on Vancouver. So the significant games tomorrow to keep an eye on is Columbus and Pittsburgh. Washington and the Rangers, Pittsburgh having one more game to go. Boston, Toronto, uh, their final games of the regular season. Montreal, of course, Florida, uh, and then uh, Colorado, Minnesota, and Vegas and St. Louis will be significant games as well. That's to keep an eye on tomorrow. So uh, the big games tonight, of course, again, Flames taking on Minnesota, uh, Canucks taking on the uh, Kings at home in their final home game of the regular season uh, there. And, of course, Nashville and Colorado as well. And then, so that's the big Western Conference games. Apologies for the confusion there. Uh, in terms of other news uh, here, in terms of playoff, your uh, playoff teams, yes, Perry Kotkanemi will play against the Devils tonight. He He returns. Uh, he's missed five games with a lower body injury. He missed uh, eight games with the same injury before returning to play two. Uh, Antti Ranta will start tonight for the Hurricanes. Uh, another goaltending injury there in Carolina with Frederick Anderson. He's missed five games uh, there with a lower body injury. And, of course, uh, and Ter- Artemi Panero and Andrew Kopp did not play. Uh uh, for the Rangers against the Montreal Canadiens last night, and they did not play on Tuesday. Gerard Gallant says nothing major. Uh, they will, and but they will both be available next week. And Jared Spurgeon, Matt Dumba, Matt Zuccarella, by the way, for the Minnesota Wild, uh, will not play tonight, but they're possible to return for the Wild against the Colorado Avalanche on Friday. Um, so, uh, getting those players ready for the playoffs there tonight. So that's all the news. Sorry for the confusion there for a moment there. I had the wrong day going on with dates. Uh, as far as the WHL goes, one game tonight, the Edmonton Oil Kings can wrap up their series with the Lethbridge Hurricanes. They lead that series 3-0. Uh, there were, as far as the games last night went, uh, we had one elimination last night. The Portland Winterhawks have advanced to the second round of the Western Conference. They knocked off the Prince George Cougars 2-1 to one as James Stephan uh, scored and Shelter scored. Uh, Van Everett beat Vancouver 5-2. to two. Uh, Nico Houghton had and Ryan Hofer had two goals each for uh, Everett. Uh, Winnipeg. Uh, still, uh, and PA still in PA survived as they beat the Winnipeg ice three to one, uh, red Brandon beat red deer three to one as the return of, uh, Kelkin, of Marcus, Ke- uh, Kel- Ke- Marcus Kelly and Kelly, sorry, want to butcher the apologies there, but, uh, he scored two goals and an assist for Brandon in that game. Uh, so that series is tied at two. And then Saskatoon survived as well as uh, Kyle Kernkovic scored two goals as Saskatoon beat Moose Jaw 5-3. to three. And Adam Kidd scored in overtime. Kelowna survives in Seattle, against Seattle 3-2. to two. Uh, There'll be six more games tomorrow. So that is the news for today, Thursday, April 29th. Of course, you can follow us all individually on Twitter. Sean is Beardy Canuck 03. Tyler, T N O B L E. Devin Gordon Hauer 09. Chris Schneids, S C H N E I D Z. I am K E V O L E. Shifts and Pucks on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. Subscribe wherever you get your audio, as well as on the Area 51 Sports Network. Thanks everyone for watching and listening. We'll talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.